class today we are going to start with lesson number 2 of unit 2 food biotechnology and the outline for the today's session are genetically modified organism transgenic animals genetically modified crop such as golden rice let's begin with genetically modified organisms basically genetic modification is a set of technology gene technology which will alter the genetic machinery or mechanism of living organisms such as animals plants or even microorganisms combining genes from different organisms is known as recombinant dna technology and the resulting organism by employing this particular technology is said to be genetically modified or genetically engineered or a transgenic animal or organism so details of the evolution of genetically modified organism in us is straight away mentioned in the given link below i request you all to please go through this particular link and look at it so the parliamentary committee on agriculture in 2012 asked the indian government to stop the field trials and sought a bar on genetically modified food crops such as bt brinja so this raised towards the ethical dimensions and raising these ethical dimensions of transgenics in agricultural crops as well as the studies of a long term environmental and chronic toxicology impact the panel noted that there were no significant socio and economic benefits to the farmers and all such details related to indian scenario and global scenario i suggest you to refer this particular link this is one nice article in the pubmed kindly go through it now let us understand about the transgenic animals the production of transgenic animals has the opportunity to significantly improve the human health enhance the nutrition protect the environment increase the animal welfare and of course decrease the livestock diseases so practical applications of transgenics in livestock production are many and they include enhanced prolificacy and reproductive performance increased field utilization growth rate improved carcass composition improved milk production and composition modification of hair or fiber and increased disease resistance so development of transgenic farm animals will allow more flexibility in direct genetic manipulation of livestock in transgenic animals gene transfer or gene transfer technology is employed and it is relatively rapid way of altering the genomes of these domestic livestock the use of these tools will have a great impact towards improving the efficiency of the livestock production and animal agriculture in a timely and more cost effective manner with ever increasing world population and the rapid change in the climatic conditions such effective means of increasing production of food are essential and are required now let us understand about the golden rice genetically modified crop such as golden rice 
So over half of the world's population, they depend on rice as their staple crop. In Asia, rice supplies around 30 to 80 percent of the daily calories that are consumed. Basically speaking, carotenoids, which are a group of plant pigments, they are very essential and important in the human diet, which acts as the only precursors of vitamin A. Most importantly, beta carotene, which is one of the carotenoids, are cleaved to vitamin. A within our body and are referred to as provitamin A. So rice plants do not produce carotenoid compounds in the grain as consumed by humans. Let us now look at the genetically modified crop such as golden rice. Over half of the world's population, they depend upon rice as a staple crop. In Asia, rice supplies around 30 to 80 percent of the daily calories that are consumed. So, carotenoids are a group of plant pigments which are essential in the human diet as the only precursors of vitamin A. Certain car carotenoids, most importantly beta carotene are cleaved into vitamin A within our body and are referred to as provitamin A. So rice plants do not produce carotenoids and carotenoid like compounds in the grain as consumed by humans. Consequently, vitamin A deficiency will often occur where rice is the major staple food. So, carotenoids including beta carotene are natural plant pigments and are found in most colored fruits, carrots and green vegetables. So, animals including man, they synthesize vitamin A from these carotenoids eaten in the diet. So, animal products contain, so then let's say animal products contain vitamin A. Vitamin A deficiency, which is a major problem in parts of the developing country, can result in permanent blindness and increase the incidence and severity of infectious diseases. In Asia, vitamin A deficiency is associated with a poverty-related predominant consumption of rice, which lacks the provitamin A in the edible part of the grain especially in the endospa. So, providing provitamin A in a staple food such as rice could be a simple and effective complement to supplement these kind of essential vitamins to us. So, such programs could be implemented through farming. It would be ubiquitous in nature and self-sustaining. So, this particular genetically modified crop such as golden rice, it is based on a simple principle using the facts that the rice plants synthesize beta keratin in vegetative tissues, but not in the grain as mentioned. By addition of only two genes, by employing our DNA technology, by addition of only two genes, which are they? They are phytoin synthase and phytoin desaturase. The pathway is reconstituted and beta carotene is consequently accumulated in the endosperm that is the edible part of the grain, thus achieving golden rice. So, let us now understand the uh, steps that are involved to produce this particular golden rice. So, in a crop, isopentathenyl pyrophosphate is converted into geranyl geranyl diphosphate. This geranyl geranyl diphosphate with the help of phytoin synthase 
and the gene for producing this phytoensynthase enzyme is taken from a daffodil which is a daffodil gene which helps in the conversion of geranyl geranyl diphosphate to phytoin this phytoin is naturally converted into lycopene with the help of phytoin desaturase and lycopene is converted into beta carotene which is a vitamin a precursor with the help of another daffodil gene which is known as lycopene cyclase so this particular gene will help in the production of lycopene cyclase enzyme so this is how beta carotene can be synthesized in your rice crop So, benefits of golden rice involve, it lowers the risk of blindness, infections, cancers and diseases. It also reduces gastrointestinal distress. It reduces high blood pressure and high cholesterol in our body. And thus, there is a need of this golden rice in the countries where rice is one of the staple crop. And majority of the people are dependent on rice. With this, I would like to give you a, reflect, a reflection spot wherein you are supposed to recall the concept of GMO and list out the importance of golden rice. With this, we come to an end of lesson number two. Thank you so much.